What's one place which makes you think, wow, how on earth did they build that? One place that would be hard to argue with its inclusion would be the city of Venice. With its 150 canals, it's a city whose very existence is an achievement of the highest order. Its location around a lagoon has led to ingenious engineering solutions which have stood the test of time for over a millennia and are just crying out to be told. This is a concise history of the city of Venice. Wait, the Italian one, not the one in California. It's the 5th century and in Northern Italy, the golden era of the Roman Empire with its gladiators and emperors shoveling grapes by the bucket load is well and truly over. With barbarians moving in from Northern Europe wreaking havoc with anything in their path, the locals around the area were being forced to seek refuge in the lagoons nearby and as wave after wave of invaders came by, it was looking increasingly likely that these lagoon settlers were not going to go back to the mainland so this settlement was going to be a permanent job. With Venice consisting of 118 islands, there was plenty of room at the start for settlers to spread out and build their lives, but as the barbarians kept storming through northern Italy, more and more people started knocking on the door to come and live in Venice. Space was drying up and something needed to be done. They would look to the water to solve their space problem. With Venice being situated within the lagoon, the ground conditions consisted of mud and only mud, with no rock to construct on, making building on the soil less than ideal. However, lurking within all that mud was a hidden gem. This consisted of a layer of hard mud called the Caranto, which had the strength to support the weight of the buildings that were to be constructed above. So the Venetians had some solid ground to build on, but as you may know, the Venetians loved their stone houses and palaces, and these weighed a fair bit. Because of this, an ingenious solution would have to be found. The answer was to build a fancy foundation sandwich. This consisted of hundreds of wooden piles which would be driven into the ground. The filling would be two layers of planks of wood which would then be laid on top of the piles. Then to top it off, layers of stone would sit on top of the planks of wood. This foundation method would provide both the lining for its famous canals provide solid groundwork for the brick and marble structures to sit on. As this was the olden days and Venetians were not blessed with modern comforts of pile drivers, to insert the piles into the ground they would do it the old fashioned way by just hammering them into the ground for heavy object. It was by no means safe but it did the job. As the Venetians were using wooden piles for foundations and these would sit underwater, you might think to yourself, would the piles not rot over time? The answer to this was a resounding no. The reason for this was because the piles were basically stuck in the mud, so there was no access to air or oxygen required for microorganisms to decompose the wood, meaning the foundations had been able to stay intact for centuries up to the present day. So, with a solid method to construct sturdy buildings under the belt, the Venetians could expand their city, continuing to let it thrive throughout the centuries. But with Venice being surrounded by water, it won't come as much as a surprise that the city has been susceptible to flooding. This is caused by a phenomenon called aqua alta, or high water, which describes high tide peaks that occur in the northern part of the Adriatic Sea, reaching their maximum in the Venetian lagoon. This vulnerability has led Venice to draw the line of constantly getting soggy feet, constructing a flood defence system called Modulo Sempratale Electromechanique? Is that how you say it? Or Mosey for short. This system consists of rows of mobile gates at the inlets to the lagoon, which provide a barrier between the lagoon and the Adriatic Sea at high tides and is designed to protect the city against tides up to 3 metres. The way the system works is that in normal tidal conditions, the gates are full of water, which allows them to rest in their housing structures. Once high tides are forecast, Compressed air is moved into the gates, which results in water emptying from the gates, allowing for the gates to rotate around their axis until they emerge out of the water to prevent the tide from entering the lagoon. When tidal conditions return to normal, the gates are then refilled, allowing them to return back to their housing structures. Some smart stuff. 
the system was first put to test on October the 3rd, 2020, during a high tide event which helped to prevent flooding within the city. Despite this success, the system isn't actually finished yet, with completion expected to be at the end of 2021 and will hopefully provide a solution to Venetian's soggy bottom. Despite the ongoing challenges of stopping Mother Nature from swallowing the city, Venice continues to stand testament to the determination and ingenuity by humans to adapt to their surroundings, even in the toughest conditions. It's a city constantly described as one of the world's most beautiful and romantic cities, and behind all that beauty lies ingenious engineering solutions which lay both its foundations and will help to safeguard the city for years to come.